Hello, this is Jonathan from Synopsis Circ, and today I'm going to be talking to you about CVE 2022-1271, which we're also tracking in our Black Duck knowledge base as BDSA 2022-0958. This is a vulnerability in GZIP, and when I first heard about it, I was kind of freaking out because every Linux distro uh, in the world just about is going to have GZIP in it. Uh, but once I looked into it a little further, it looks like the impact is a bit more limited. Specifically, this vulnerability is in ZGREP, which is a utility that's part of GZIP. Uh, ZGREP, to be honest, I had never heard of this. Uh, ZGREP is used for searching for strings inside compressed GZIP files. And the vulnerability is triggered when you have file names that have new lines in them. So... Um, in, in, you know, sort of the best case scenario is uh, the vulnerability allows uh, an attacker to write to arbitrary files. Um, the worst case is uh, if you are in a system that also has GNU sed uh, installed in it, then you can uh, get actual code execution. And uh, I'm going to show you a short demo so that you can see what that looks like. Uh, so here we're in an empty directory, and we're going to start by just creating uh, an empty gzip file. We'll just call it any.gz. Uh, and then we're going to run this kind of complicated command. So let me break it down for you. Uh, we're echoing the word keyword, and we're piping that into gzip, which is going to compress it. And then gzip is going to write the compressed output to uh, this crazy kind of file name. And in fact, it, this is not actually the file name. It's, it's like a little mini script for making the file name. So let's just run it. And then I'll show you the contents of the directory. And you can see we've got uh, our empty any.gz file. And then we've got this other gz file uh, with a couple of new lines in it, some other crazy stuff. And uh, our exploit command here, this, this cause command, and the way we trigger the vulnerability is by running zgrep, and we're going to uh, search for keyword, and we're going to look inside all of these gz files. And you can see zgrep ends up actually running the exploit command from the file name and dumping its results out to the terminal here. So that's the demo. Uh, you can see uh, if your application is using the gzip component, then you may be vulnerable under certain circumstances. Specifically, if you allow users to create file names that have new lines in them, and then if your application subsequently invokes zgrep on those files, uh, then you might be exposed to this vulnerability. So I hope you enjoyed the demo, uh, and don't forget to subscribe uh, for all of the latest from Synopsis Circ.